The future looks bright for one young superstar in the field of tenbin bowling. Zach Ramin won the country's first title in the Singapore International Open. Let's find out more about his story as Zach Ramin joins us on the show. Zach, welcome to the game. Good evening, Paul. Right, thank Zach. you for inviting me here. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, tonight, Zach. Of course, at 17 years of age, you won the Singapore International Open, becoming the first uh, and only youngest Filipino male bowler to win the competition. How did you achieve this feat? Can you tell us more about your preparations for this tournament? I mean, I've been, I was training uh, several weeks before the competition. And right before the competition, there was a Philippine Open. So uh, I was able to test my skills against those uh, big seniors, all of the veteran bowlers. And uh, I, I was able to pull out the win. I, I wasn't expecting it myself, but uh, I've been working hard uh, in, on the lanes and off the lanes to you know, make it happen. So, Zach, you, you're telling us that you didn't expect to win it all, but then are you surprised? Did you surprise yourself, really, with the way that you performed here? Or was this something that you could do when you would train and then finally translate it to competition for the first time? Uh, when I train, obviously, I can put up big scores, but I mean, like, for me, I don't expect myself to do it against one of the best in, in Asia and in the world. And it's just because uh, the pressure that's really put on during a tournament is just it's just next level, and uh, being able to carry it out in in one of the biggest stages that I have been on so far is just it's just really crazy. Well, Zach, if you could uh, let us know, when did you feel that you had a chance to do something special in the Singapore Open? Because I'm sure there was a moment where you suddenly felt that oh my goodness, I can take home the chip here. I mean, it was definitely uh, nearing the last two games of the Masters as uh, I was catching up to the leaders, uh, to the older players that uh, were bowling well, like throughout the Masters. And um, when I won that first step ladder match against uh, a PBA pro, uh, he plays professionally back in the U.S. And uh, when I won that first match, I was I was surprised, and I was I was just like. Oh my gosh! I'm just two more matches away from the from the title. It's just like I'm just so close already. Can I just say, uh, Dip, when he mentions a PBA pro, we're talking about a, a pro bowling <laughs> right, uh, athlete, right. not not a Philippine Basketball Association right. athlete. Hindi po si June Mar Fajardo yung bowling. Oh, sa bowling yung pinag usapan ni Zach. All right, Zach, uh, you joined an individual event back in Singapore last month, but this time. Uh, just recently, this July, you, know, you joined a team event, the Asian Ten Pin Bowling Youth Championship in Bangkok. Can you tell us about the experience this time playing with Team Philippines? I mean, it's definitely a great experience, like winning as a team and winning a team event gold. Uh, I, my coach just told me that the last time uh, we won a gold was 42 years ago in the team event. So it's just, uh, it's just a great experience to bring one home for the Philippines and bring on home as a team. I, I, you know, like shout out to my teammates, Marcus Studio, Art Barrientos, and Steven Lugdiwa, you know. They, it's like, it's not, it's just like, uh, we all, it was all of us that really brought home the gold. Right, but coming into the last round, can you tell us more about that? Because I know you guys were trailing, right? Entering the last round. Uh, how was that feeling like that, okay, you're at the last spot, you're trailing behind those countries, but then you managed to get the win? I mean, we weren't really thinking about like how much we were trailing. We only found out last after the game that we were trailing the number one spot by 200 pins, um, which is a lot for one game. And uh, we caught up to all those countries with a big score on the last game. And it's just, we were just so focused on process and playing our best that um, when we finally found out that we won the gold. It was just like an overload of emotions for all of us. You know, you mentioned it's been so long since the gold medal has come to the Philippines. And uh, I mean, to the point that it's literally more than twice your age. You take a look at that particular achievement. How excited does that make you feel for the future of the sport, especially what's in, in the hands of yourself and the teammates that you do have? I mean, yeah, the youth, the youth of the Philippines are really like 
they're really matching up to the other uh, big countries like Singapore, Malaysia, Korea, who have uh, also a lot of skilled youths and are known to be one of the heavy hitters in the youth division and the open division. So as our players like mature and get better, it, we can we can definitely catch up to, to those strong countries. Right, Zach, we've talked about two tournaments, but uh, do you have any more upcoming competitions that you're going to join this year so that we know when to guest you next year in the game? <laughs> Um, I think I'll next the next tournament for me would probably maybe be the Asian Indoor Games, mm -hmm. uh, which which is actually next year. Just uh, uh, I have to focus on school for now because uh, it's my finishing year of school this year. Yeah, it's important to finish that. And uh, can I just say? I spent the entire interview trying to count how many trophies are behind you. <laughs> I'm going to assume all of them are yours, but Zach, we really appreciate the time that you, you, uh, for... you took out to be with us here today, and good luck in your upcoming competitions. Thank you so much.